Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now this week I will be going through the Forzathon guide called Snakebite in which I'll show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of the challenges. But to start with it wants you to hop in a 1999 Dodge Viper GTS ACR. Now this car can be picked up in the auto show for 75,000 credits which is relatively cheap and of course you can find it in the auction house for a bit cheaper. Now I have also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called S2 and the share code is 1614205380 and that's there if you guys need it. Now the first challenge here wants you to use your 99 Dodge Viper to earn 10 ultimate speed skills. Now an ultimate speed skill is when you're hitting over 190 mile an hour and it will pop up as obviously an ultimate speed skill. Now to do this I recommend heading over to the motorway as it's the best place to do it. It's obviously the longest stretch of the road on the map for you to get multiple speed skills wrapped up in quick succession. Now this tune on the Dodge Viper ACR that I've created will happily sit just above 200 mile an hour which will easily enable you to get 10 ultimate speed skills. It probably takes about 2 runs of the motorway overall so really it's not too long maybe 5 minutes max but like I said an ultimate speed skill is a speed skill that's over 190 mile an hour so it's a really easy first challenge there. Now the second challenge wants you to win 4 road circuit races in your 99 ACR. Now I went over to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit, obviously got circuit in the name, but if you head over to anything else that says sprint you won't get the challenges complete. Now I didn't create a special tune, all I did, a uh, special sort of race for this, all I did was create a blueprint that is one lap, so the share code for that is 676155178, but you can do it on any sort of circuit race you want, create your own blueprint and just make it one lap, which is exactly what I've done here. Again, it's a very, very easy challenge, and the best thing is it doesn't matter what difficulty you're doing it on, so because it's just um, a Forzathon event and not a festival playlist specific event, you don't have to be on highly skilled driver tires, you can be on easy or whatever you want really you know whatever tickles your fancy so to speak but it's actually a nice and easy second challenge to complete there and it shouldn't take you too long so after you win the first one do it three more times and there's the second challenge complete now for the third and the final one, it just wants you to earn 9 stars in total from Drift Zones. Again, this is another really easy challenge, and I'm sure you know which Drift Zone I'm going to use. Of course, it's a Horizon Donut. So 3 stars on here only requires you to get 30,000 Drift Points, which means in order to get 9 stars, you just have to do 3 runs of 30,000 uh, Drift Points or more you know depending on sort of your skill level i guess and of course the tune on your dodge viper now with this one it's fairly easy to be honest it only took me three runs to get nine stars so it was really really easy but again it would depend on what tune you're using um, and of course any sort of assist you've got put on and really your sort of skill level if you if you're not a massive drifter then obviously it might be a bit trickier but again it doesn't matter if you get one or two stars a run because even if you have to do nine runs that really only takes about four minutes so again it's not a lengthy challenge at all and it's really really not a difficult one to finish up on so i hope this video did help you out now if you've got any questions or queries about any of the challenges or anything related to forza horizon 4 or anything else for that matter, please do say so down below in the comments. Like I say, I will always respond and always try my best to help you guys out to the best of my ability. Now if you are new to the channel and you did enjoy this video and most importantly it helped you out, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe. But apart from that folks, I hope you enjoyed, make sure you take care and stay safe. All the best guys.